Hey guys, welcome back. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Melissa. And today I have a, not necessarily a weekly grocery haul. This might actually be for a couple weeks. Um, and also if you are one of my regulars, um, I'm back. Hopefully, I know I have not been uploading some videos now for, I think it's a little bit over a month. I'm so sorry guys, but I'm here. Um, we've just, you know, it's been a little bit busy transitioning back to work and school for the kids, even though they were, they're pretty much remote most of the week. I know I've talked about it in my previous videos. I've had some other things going on. I know I, I know I had mentioned, I don't think it was my last video, but I know I mentioned how I was having some allergic reactions to things. We weren't, we're, I'm still working. I am still working with the doctors. We're still trying to figure out what I'm allergic to. Um, so I've been just dealing with that as well. You know, it's not anything, you know, major, major, but, um, you know, those things have just been taking up my time. So I, so I apologize to you guys because you guys know how much I love uploading videos for you guys. And I know how much you guys love my grocery hauls as well. Um, so, um, for those of you who are my regulars, thank you for sticking with me. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are new here, we are a family of four. Um, we have a family of two vegans and two non-vegans. There's always a variety of things in my grocery hauls. I also do vegan keto for, it is almost two years now. And I know I owe you guys an update on how it is, how it has been. I finally got my medical, um, my blood work done. So I got, I can keep you guys, hopefully keep you guys updated on that very, very soon. Like I said, I've been just dealing with some other things recently. Um, so hopefully those videos will be coming for you guys very, very soon. And, um, I do have the playlist for you guys of uh, my vegan keto journey. Um, I'll leave that linked right above here for you guys. Um, so before I go on and on as I sometimes do in my intros, but like I said, I have not been here in a while. I just wanted to keep you guys updated that I am still here and is still wanting to share all of these videos for you guys. So this is a really, really big haul for you guys today. Um, this is not even all of it that's on the table right now. I'm gonna start with this stuff first. Then I have a bunch of non-food items as well, a few Christmas items as well. Um, mostly everything is from Walmart and then I have a few things from my local ShopRite. I think ShopRite is just on the East Coast. Correct, I always say correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. Um, so I will show you those few items as well. So let's get started. I'm gonna leave all the prices on the screen for you guys, as well as um, the, it will be the final price actually of what I spent on everything because I also do use an app called Ibotta. We will talk about that at the end and I will fill you in on how to save money on your groceries because I actually saved 60 or I got $60 back using my Ibotta um, app on this grocery haul. So if you want to learn how to use Ibotta, Stay tuned till the end, I will let you know. But like I said, prices will be on the screen for you guys. And sometimes I will even mention if things are vegan or non-vegan, sometimes I forget because you guys, you know, I know a lot of you guys follow me for the vegan items, but like I said, we are a mixed family. So there's so many different things. So like I said, before I go on and on, let's get into this. Let me show you, what, show you this huge grocery haul that we got today. All right guys, so we're gonna start over here and I'm using a new, I guess I could say a new camera. It's a new phone. I got the 11, what is it? Uh, um, the iPhone 11 um, Pro, Max Pro, Pro? I don't, I think that's what it is. Anyways, um, so let, let me know how it looks to you guys. Um, but so far as I'm filming, it looks amazing. So like I said, new camera. So we're gonna see how this goes as well. So over here, we're gonna use some, I got some Splenda Stevia, liquid Stevia. I use this a lot for, um, you know, my coffee and tea and things like that. I usually do like to get the Walmart brand. It's a lot cheaper. They were all out of it, so I just got that. Um, for the hubby, he likes this fruit punch, like the drink enhancer stuff for his water during the day when he's at work. I was also excited to find these, now I don't know if you say BHU or B -B -U, um, but they are keto bars. They are completely vegan. Um, they are only one net, well this one here is only one net carb and this one is the peanut butter chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, and this one is the double dark chocolate cookie dough as well. And this one is three net carbs. Like I said, they are completely vegan, which is great. Um, and the ingredients as far as I know are pretty decent. Um, I'll just show you this one really quick. I'm not going to get into everything, you know, all the ingredients on everything, but I know a lot of you guys follow me for vegan items and also keto items. So this is a really great, um, you know, bar just to keep on hand. It is in the refrigerator section. It does have to be, 
as far as I know, it needs to be refrigerated. But then again, I've been in my local health food store and they don't keep these in their refrigerated section. So I'm not really 100% sure about that. Let me know if you guys know. Anyways, I found these like by where all the yogurts and stuff are in case you go looking for them. Definitely recommend them. They taste so good. Tastes like cookie dough. Um, I also, for the family, got some bagels. We always get bagels for them for the weekend. Let me back up so you guys can see. I'm still trying to get used to this camera here. Um, so I got those. Um, I also got some gluten-free, the Char gluten-free bread. This was, this is the Artisan Baker white bread. This was on an Ibotta deal for like, I think it's $1.75 back. If you guys know, if you do a gluten, gluten-free diet, sometimes gluten-free items can be very pricey. Now, I, I do have a gluten intolerance. I'm not celiac or anything, uh, but I do have a gluten intolerance. And I since I am so far into my keto journey, I do carb up days usually about once a week. Um, so I figured this would be something I can incorporate into my carb up days. Um, you know, I don't recommend if you're just starting keto to do carb up days. If you really got to be in, in it for at least, I would probably say six months to a year, but I just started them now, you know, like I said, I'm close to two years. So I've been doing that. It seems to be working out really great for me. So I just wanted to keep this on hand. I'll keep it in the freezer. Um, some more Char items that were on sale, or not on sale, but on Ibotta, um, were these, it was, you got $1.75 back on any cookies. This was all they had, and they're sort of, I guess, like a Kit Kat. Now these are not vegan. The bread is, just be careful, sometimes some gluten-free breads do you have egg in them? So whether you're allergic to egg or, you know, if you are vegan, just be aware of that. But Char is not. Um, anyway, so they have these. Now, these are not vegan. I did notice they have milk in them, but the family, you know, the non-vegan family members will enjoy them. And they seem like, like they're uh, Kit Kats. So got three of those. You could get up to three. Also, um, not much produce because um, I do have a lot of stuff like in my freezer and I do get my Misfits box um, occasionally, um, usually like every week or every other week. And if you have, are not familiar with Misfits Market, it is a produce box that is non-GMO organic veggies sent right to your house. I have a link right down below you can get. I think right now, as far as I know, it's still going on. Um, it's 30% off of your first box. Otherwise, I think it's like 25% off. So that link is always down below for you guys if you want to check that out. And I'll link the whole playlist of my past boxes right here above in the iCarts. So I just got four avocados for today. Uh, let's see, back here I got a small bag of the ground flaxseed. I use this all the time for, I make like chia like chia puddings. I do like a no oatmeal kind of thing with this and chia, chia seeds. And I also use it when I am baking for the family um, to veganize items. You can use um, ground flax meal or ground flaxseed, which is basically flax meal. Um, and speaking of my chia pudding, I got a big thing of some organic chia seeds. These are really great, um, great way to add some extra fiber and omegas into your body. Um, you know, it's really, really good for your protein. Um, there's so many health benefits to chia seeds. And I actually have an old, old video where I made a bubble tea using chia seeds. I'll leave that linked above here for you guys if you want to check it out. And I know in the video, I share a lot of the great benefits that chia seeds have for you. Um, let's see, a maybe not so healthy thing, but this was an Ibotta rebate and you know, the family doesn't really drink soda too often, but just for a little treat was the Pepsi Zero um, or Pepsi Zero with which has no sugar. Um, so I just, yeah, and there goes all my bread there. Um, I got uh, just one of those because it was a free Ibotta rebate. So basically the bottle was free. Um, and then I think I forgot to show you guys all of the bread I got. When you go to Walmart, always check for their clearance bread. It's like day old bread. It's such a great price. I got eight um, loaves of this, what is it, French bread. They were marked down to 43 cents from a dollar. And what I do is I will pre-slice these either lengthwise and save them in the freezer for either making French bread pizzas or I will cut it up into like, you know, sizes to make like sandwiches and the family can just take it out whenever it is needed. So I got eight of those. And just a quick peek in the back here on here, you guys can see that I have started, I know it's not, it's not really put together yet, but I've started to put some of my Christmas trees out um, a little bit early. Let me know down below in the comments if you started putting your Christmas, your Christmas decorations out. I do it quite early every year because that way I can just enjoy it. I can also take my time decorating and it's just, you know, it's just something special to me. If you did not see, I actually have a video last year where I showed all my Christmas trees and I think my, some of my decor as well. I'll leave that linked above here for you guys as well in the iCards. 
Uh, let's see. Next, we got these. You know, they're hidden behind the soda here, and there goes my my pile of bread falling off the table. Um, these are repeat. Buy, I buy these all the time for my son. These are the Lala um, yogurt smoothies. These were an I bought a deal. You got the four pack. I think it was like seventy five cents back. And then the 10 pack, I got him the mango. I think there was like a, I think it was like a dollar, a dollar fifty rebate back on that. And then if you bought both of them, you got a bonus of like a dollar back as well. They also had like an end cap they always have in my Walmart store with a bunch of clearance items. Um, usually the prices are not listed, so I just use my app and you can just scan the stuff in store and check the prices. So these organic cheddar cheese, like baked snack, snack crackers, which there are 12 in here, were marked down to $3.50. I thought that was a really great price. Um, I also got these Quaker um, oatmeal cups, which I thought when I grabbed them that they were the Bob's Red Mill because the Bob's Red Mill was a 75 cent rebate back on each of them. I grabbed the wrong ones, but it's not a big deal. You know, we will use these as well. So we got one of each, or not one of each of these. I got five of these. I got one of the honey and almonds and the rest are the maple and brown sugar. Let's see, down here, I got these Rise Nitro Cold Brew Coffees. I love these. They are great for like on the go or just for, you know, a quick pick me up as well. They are a little pricey. This time they were not on the Ibotta rebate, but I believe they were on the Fetch Rewards. I think you got like some bonus points for those. So I just got three. I also got a backup of my Hellman's Vegan Mayonnaise. I always have like to have an extra container of that ready to go. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then I got some, let's see, vegan, like, uh, chicken nuggets. These are from the Incog Incognito, um, from Morningstar Farms, which is a newer line to their, um, line of like vegan and vegetarian items. Not all of Morningstar's products are vegan, so just be aware of that. Some of them do have, um, egg and milk in them. But these, as far as I know, are completely vegan. And these were actually absolutely free. And actually, I, I think I earned more money back than they cost. I think these were like, I think these were like $4. And then Ibotta had a $5 rebate. And I actually had a dollar coupon. So I actually made money buying these. So I got one of those. They are already open because we actually came home and made um, pizzas for the family. And my daughter had a friend over and stuff. So we already opened them. They made some vegan pizzas as well. And I did actually also, which I forgot to, I didn't lay it on the table because we already opened it. Another item we already opened was a jar of some, I think it was the Francesco Rinaldi sauce, which is also on a Abada rebate. And then I bought like some pre-made like pizza crusts as well, which they've already, they've already come and gone. They're already eaten and gone already. So, um, so we got those as well. And then we also got the Morning Star Farms uh, veggie meatballs. They put those on the the pizzas as well. I also got these Daya burritos. These are great for a quick um, quick meal. These are, I believe, these are also gluten free, gluten free, and you know, obviously vegan. So like the cheese and the meat and everything is completely vegan. So the Ibotta rebate, I think, it was a dollar back if you bought two of them. So I got two. This one is the let's say Santa Fe. Meatless beef style crumbles, brown rice and potatoes. And this one is like a like a breakfast one as well. So breakfast burrito. This is another new item as far as I know. And this is from Crazy Richards, which I do love their peanut butter so good. These were in the um in the in the freezer department, in case you go looking for them. So they're called Holy or Woly, Woly, Rollies. And there is um this one is pea, peanut butter and cacao. Um, there are 10, oh, 10 frozen protein balls. They have only five ingredients, as you can see here are the ingredients. Pretty simple. I figured this would be something for myself for a carb up day. My daughter also might, might like something like this. I think the other flavor was maybe peanut butter and strawberry, I think. Um, here are the calories and the macros in case you are interested. I mean, you know, even on a regular keto day, these are not terrible. I mean, it's only one ball and they are five net carbs. So, I mean, not too bad if you've worked it into your day. Um, you know, so, you know, they're not terrible. But like I said, very simple ingredients. I wanted to give those a try. Also got some vegan um, American style slices. We love the Follow Your Heart brand. It is my absolute favorite um, non-dairy cheese. Let me know down below if you're one of my vegans or even somebody, you know, if you eat vegan items from time to time, let me know what your favorite brand of cheese is and even what your favorite flavor. Miyoko's is really good too. That's another one of my favorites, but it's a little bit harder to find in my area. I also got some of these Suja juices because they were on Ibotta. 
Um, so I got this one here. This is the Ginger Love. It has like um, water, lemon, ginger, and pineapple, which obviously, you know, you can make this stuff at home. But um, what I usually do is I won't drink a whole bottle because I think the carbs, the carbs are a little bit, actually, they're not too bad. I mean, it's four, let's see, four, four carbs for the whole bottle. So it's really not bad. But what I usually do is maybe drip, take half of the bottle and pour it into my, um, like a larger bottle of water just to kind of dilute it a little bit. And then I also got some of the little Suja shots. I got the two for the immunity and one for energy. And the same thing with these, I'll just kind of dilute them and put them into um, my water. Cause sometimes these can be a little bit, I don't know what the carbs are on this one here. So yeah, this one is three, three carbs for that little shot. So, I mean, it's not, it's not terrible, but if you work it into your day, um, and then there was a bonus if you bought, um, if you bought both of them, you got like a bonus, I think of like, I don't know if it was 50 cents or a dollar, but it was a really good deal. Um, another great deal was the Beyond Meat Beyond Burgers, but unfortunately they only had one. There was a rebate back on this as well, which made them, um, I think a little bit over $3, which is not too bad. They also had a rebate for the ground, the ground Beyond Burger Meat, but they did not have any in stock. Unfortunately, I think that one was like $2.25 back. Um, and I, you could get up to five. I would have purchased all of them if they had them and just stocked up and kept them in the freezer because you, you can definitely keep these items in your freezer. Um, another, let's see, another item that I got was, this will be for my son because this is the Greek yogurt. This is a dairy item. And this is the Clio uh, peanut butter Greek yogurt bar. And I believe this was only like, this was like a dollar rebate. So it was like really inexpensive. Like I said, price will be on the screen for you guys. All right, another item which I just totally forgot and grabbed out of the refrigerator because we kind of, like I said, came home and I put everything away real, really quickly and they all ate dinner. Um, and then I pulled it back out so I could film it for you guys. Anyways, this was the Oikos um, Strawberry and Banana Oikos Pro 25 grams of protein um, cultured dairy drink, like kind of like a yogurt drink. So I got this for my son. This was absolutely free. There was a $1.84 rebate. So I just figured, you know what, for free, he can give it a try. That is the great thing about Ibotta. It gives you the chance sometimes to try things and it costs you absolutely nothing. And that way, you know, you can figure out if you like these products or not. Uh, let's see, another I bought a rebate was, you got 10, I think 10 cents back on any eggs. So I just got the cheapest ones. I got these, the large cage free white eggs. Uh, let's see another, oh, some more clearance items. Like I said, on that end cap where I found a bunch of clearance items, these were um, the great value um, cookie mixes. So I got the snickerdoodle, I got three of these. Um, and these actually do not have any, um, these are actually vegan and you can veganize them. And what I do is I usually, usually use, like I said, the flax meal or baking soda. You can also use as a replacement for egg. And then obviously you can use vegan butter or you can even use applesauce sometimes to replace your butter as well. So we will be veganizing them. And then I also got three of the pumpkin spice, which I did notice these do have milk in them if you do see them. Um, but I got three of those. Um, but I will probably still veganize them by, you know, by not using eggs. I probably not totally veganize them because they will have milk in them. So I shouldn't say that veganizing them, but I will use the flax meal as the egg replacer in those as well, even though they will not be vegan, if that makes sense. Anyways, these were on sale for 99 cents because they are basically like the fall stuff. Now that they're coming in with all the winter stuff, all this st fall stuff is clearancing out. So, you know, so look for these if you are interested in them. They might even have some of the fall, not in my store, but some stores probably have a lot of like the fall, um, like coffees and things like that as well. Let's see, moving on, I got these uh, Mighty Sesame Company Tahini Bars. There are, how many are in here? I think there's six of them in there. Yeah, six, oh, six bars right there. So I got one of the pistachio, one of the vanilla. I figured I would get these as a little treat on some of my carb up days. They taste, um, if you're familiar with, um, I think you, they call it hal halva is how you say it. I hope I'm saying it right. Tastes just like that. They're really good. It's like a little, you know, like I said, it's, it's sesame seed. Um, like puree almost and it was like a little and it's a little sweet um, and they are really really good so highly recommend those as well um, I also got for the hubby quite a few things here for the hubby for his lunches some pure protein bars I got these here he picked out the chocolate salted caramel um, and then I got these for myself not realizing because I said keto and it did say plant-based but just be careful plant-based does not always mean vegan but these were anyways were absolutely free there was a six dollar I think six dollars and eighty four cents back 
on these. So these were absolutely free. So it would be, it's a great product, you know, that he can try as well. Cause like I said, I was got them for myself initially, but then brought them home and realized they had milk probably because of the chocolate, even though it does say dark chocolate, but not all dark chocolate is always vegan. So just be aware of that. They are only, but if you do just regular keto, these would be a great find as well. They're, uh, they are only three net carbs per bar. Um, he also picked out the Quest peanut butter, or what is it, peanut chocolate crunch bars as well. And they're, they look kind of similar actually. And those are five net carbs in case you do keto. Um, and these were an Ibotta rebate as well. And then another great rebate on Ibotta was, was these Monk Pack protein cookies. These are huge cookies. There's a four pack and they were a $3 Ibotta rebate as well, which is, which is such a great deal because some of this stuff can get a little pricey. So I always love when this stuff is on Ibotta. Let's see, also needed some olive oil. So I just got the Great Value Organic, the huge bottle here. It is uh, 51 ounces, extra virgin olive oil. I also got some organic apple cider vinegar. I drink this every single day with lemon juice. And I usually squeeze the, the lemon juice fresh myself, but this week I was just making my life a little bit easier. So I got the Santa Cruz Organic um, lemon juice, always make sure you get the ones that are just pure lemons. You know, some of those little squeezy bottle things have like so many other, so much other like junk and stuff in it. And when you get the apple cider vinegar, make sure you get the one that says with the mother. You want the really, really good apple cider vinegar. And I mix these together. I put a little bit of stevia and I put it with water and ice in my, in my water bottle. And it is so, so good. It's sort of like a, a sweet tart sort of, uh, like lemonade. It's and it's, Oh, apple cider vinegar has such great health benefits for you. Let's see. I also got some regular cheese. I know processed cheese, not the best. I just keep this on hand sometimes for quick, like, you know, grilled cheese sandwiches and stuff like that for the boys. Sometimes they put it in their eggs. I know it's not the greatest, but this package will last us probably quite a few weeks. Um, I also got them, which is already open because like I said, they made some pizza and put all kinds of different toppings on them was the great value fully cooked turkey meatballs. I also got some cheese and what I do with these bags, because we don't use it that often, is I just keep them right in the freezer and just take out what I need when I need it. So I got the sharp cheddar and then I also got the mozzarella, which you can see we, they used a lot of already because we made pizzas when we came home. So we got that as well. So let's see, that is it for the food items. Actually, I do have a few food items from ShopRite, which I'm gonna show you guys um, really quickly after this. And then I will also show you all the non-food items that I got at Walmart as well, and some of the, the few Christmas items that I got too. All right guys, so here are the few items that I got from my local ShopRite. Um, I love, uh, I have two ShopRites that are near me, but one of them in particular has a lot of um, vegan items that are hard to find in other stores. And as good as Walmart is with a lot of their um, vegan items, sometimes they're kind of limited on the non-dairy milks. So I usually will go to either ShopRite or even Target has a lot of the non-vegan, um, like non-dairy milks and creamers and things like that. But I just didn't make it to Target this week. So I picked these up and they were on sale as well at ShopRite. So I thought that was a great time to, you know, buy a few. I didn't stock up too much. But anyway, I have not had the Good Karma flax milk in quite a while. I love this stuff. It is so creamy. It is so good. I get the unsweetened one. Um, it has, as you can see, some omega threes in there um, per cup per serving. It's only 25 calories. If you're somebody who counts calories, I do not count my calories. I do net carbs. And even though, you know, it sounds funny to say I don't count calories, it does work out that my calorie count for the day when I do my net carbs does work out, just, just happens to work out. I eat anywhere from, it could be anywhere from 1400 to maybe upwards towards 1800 ish calories a day. I do work out a lot. I work out for at least an hour or more every single day. Um, so, and I do um, heavy weightlifting as well as walking and running. Um, so, and I do cardio as well throughout the week. Um, so I do work out a lot. So like I said, you know, my calorie count can, you know, sometimes be a little bit higher, but it does work for me. Anyways, this is one carb per cup, which is really great. I try to get, you know, a milk that is either, um, one, you know, one net carb, one carb or zero, which you'll see my Califia in a second, which has zero carbs. So I got two of these. These ones sell for $3.49, which is a great deal. This one can be a little bit pricey. I also got one of my Silk Half and Half. I love this. 
It's been hard to find this little heavy whipping cream lately, which I love as well. And my coffee, because it just gives it that nice creaminess and is zero net carbs. This one as well is zero net carbs, 15 calories per tablespoon. It is so good. I highly recommend this. Even if you're somebody who's not vegan and you just want to, you know, lead a little bit less dairy because dairy can be an inflammatory. So you should be careful of that as well. So, you know, this is a great item to incorporate into your um, into your diet. And I use the term diet loosely. I don't mean diet as in, you know, just doing it short term. I When I say diet, I mean how you eat all the time. If that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Anyways, I also got my favorite because this was on sale, the Califia. This is the toasted coconut and almond milk blend. Um, they do have some other varieties as well. This is the unsweetened one. And this one is zero net carbs. And I absolutely love it. I love it because it's zero net carbs. And I love the um, the texture and the flavor of it is so, so good. I use this for my smoothies and for my coffee or tea. Um, they had some new holiday items, so I figured I'd grab this now. This is the Califia as well. It is the dairy-free almond milk creamer in the nog, like I guess like eggnog flavor. It is made with um, almond and coconut cream. And I'm pretty sure, let me see if I remember correctly if this one has, this one has two carbs um, for one tablespoon, but I just figured for a nice holiday treat, this would be something different to try. I don't think I have tried this one before. And this one, like I said, it says holiday nog on it. They had a whole bunch of different ones. Some were a little bit higher carb, different brands as well. Um, but so I just got this one for now. For the hubby, for his coffee, I got him the bowl and basket. That is the ShopRite brand, um, just regular half and half. Let's see, then down here, I needed some vegan butter for my daughter. I use it as well, but she uses it a little bit more often than I do. This is the, um, actually the container is turned around. This is the, I can't believe it's not butter, it's vegan butter. Um, and this one, if you're, if you're looking for a vegan butter that is very sp spreadable, spreadable, <laughs> this one is really good. It's very soft right out of the ref refrigerator, so it is perfect. Um, I also grabbed these and I have to say I grabbed them quickly and I didn't really look at the ingredients. So they are not the best. So I guess you could sort of call this these dirty keto. Um, and this is the Polliner sugar-free with fiber, it says strawberry preserves. Now for the macros, not bad. It is one tablespoon, 10 calories. It is, let's see, two net carbs because you take, you know, if you're unfamiliar with how to figure out net carbs, take the carbohydrates, subtract the dietary fiber and you will get your net carbs. So, so one tablespoon, two net carbs, not too bad. Now, here are the ingredients. Now, water, strawberries. Okay, not too bad, but then and you notice here, there is some malodextrin and some other things that are not so great in here. There is sucralose. Um, there is even red number 40. So it's really not the cleanest of ingredients, but I have to tell you, this is gonna be something that I'm probably not gonna use too often. I just wanted to give it a try and see how it is. Let me know if you've tried this one before. I know I, I shown once before, I forget what the other brand is that I got on Amazon um, that I know Nicole Burgess on her channel shows all the time that she gets and it's a little bit better quality. But like I said, I just wanted to give it a try. It's not gonna be something I have all the time. I also got the apricot one because I thought this would be something I have um, they are called Soy Curls by Butler Foods, and I know I've shown them so many times on my channel. They've sent me, they're so nice that they've sent me their products many, many times, and I've also, per I have purchased them many times as well. Um, and they're basically like soy um, uh, dehydrated strips, and they taste like chicken, basically. So you can do anything to it, just like chicken. You can do any flavor, however you want. So I wanted to do like something like Asian, sort of like a, um, what do you call it, like a sweet and sour sauce kind of chicken, and use this apricot preserves. Um, this would also be great. I do have tofu as well. I could do it with tofu as well. And like I said, it's the same sort of ingredients and the macros and everything, and not the greatest, but I just thought it would be something different to try. Let me know if you've tried this or if you know any other good, um, keto friendly like jelly and jams let me know and then I was checking out their peanut butters because peanut butter is just life to me hopefully this is not what's called causing my allergic reactions lately um but this is the bowl and basket this is their brand of peanut butter they also had it in crunchy as well I do like creamy because see there's the oil on top they do recommend when you have the oil on top like flip it over before you open it and the oil will go to the bottom and then you just give it a stir um but the macros on this I th thought were really good the ingredients is just 
peanuts and salt. That's all you want. But if you look at the carbs here and then the fiber, it is only two net carbs for two tablespoons. So I thought that was so great. I used to buy the one from Walmart all the time that I think was only two or three net carbs for two tablespoons. But I'm going to buy this one from now on because the price is great. I think it was under, I think it was just around $2. Price will be on the screen. Um, and like I said, two net carbs, you cannot, cannot, cannot wait, beat it. And like I said, hopefully this is not what's causing my allergic reaction because I will be very, very upset if I have to take peanut butter out of my life because it is so good. And sometimes I mix this with my Lily's chocolate chips or just my Lily's chocolate and it's my little treat, you know? So anyway, so I got that as well. So that's it for my little ShopRite haul. Like I said, just a few items from there. I'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna get into all the non-food items that I got from Walmart, which were such a great deal. And then a few Christmas items as well. All right guys, so here is the last of the Walmart items, the non-food items and a few Christmas things as well. Are you still with me? I hope you are. Um, if you are still with me, leave me a Christmas tree emoji down below. I think there's a Christmas tree emoji or is it like just a pine tree? Whatever it is, leave it down below and also leave me your comments because like you guys know I love talking to you guys. Um, and I know I'm very behind on comments so I apologize for that. Just like I said in the beginning, things have just been a little crazy. So, um, this was a great Ibotta deal. These were the B Bic Silky Touch. I think there was like three different Bic razors you could get. I got the Bic Silky Touch. You could get up to three. These were $2.88, but there was a $2.50 rebate on each of them. So that only makes them 38 cents. And I don't know about you guys, but razors sometimes, I know these are not the best, not my favorite, but for the price, we're going to make do. And there are... 10 oh wow there's 10 in here in each package so that was such a steal for 38 cents so you know if you don't have the ibotta app yet you better download that quickly use my link down below we'll talk about it more at the end anyways i got some hand soap i needed some hand soap as well i don't know if this is new or just new packaging for suave but really really pretty i got the rose water and aloe and then i got two of the what is this milk and honey as well um, for my skin lately, cause like I said, we've been just having some allergic reactions and things going on. Um, so I got this cocoa butter. I just love putting, rubbing this all over. It is so good. I also like using coconut oil and rosehips oil are my favorite go-to things to use on my skin. I just, you know, I like to keep it pretty simple. So I got that. Um, before we get into Christmas things, let's do more of the, you know, non-food items. Um, not that Christmas isn't non-food, but I got two of these, the Palm Olive Pure and Clear, these huge bottles, 32 ounces. I actually got two of them. One's already by my sink. Um, so I got two of those. The Tresemme was such a deal. There was a $5 coupon. Uh, in one of the inserts, I think from a couple weeks ago, where if you bought two, you got $5 um, five dollars off of your purchase. A cute five dollar coupon, basically, if you purchase two. So I get these. These are only three dollars and eighty eight cents. These huge bottles with the pumps. Um, so they were three eighty eight. They were five dollars back if you purchase two. And then there was, I believe, it was a dollar um, I bought up back on each. So that knocked it down to my goodness. I'm trying to do the math quickly in my head, but. Um, it's going to be here on the screen for you guys, but so cheap. I mean, for these size bottles, I mean, you cannot, absolutely cannot beat it. I know I bought some well over a month ago and we still have them because, you know, it takes a long time for us to get through these bottles here. Um, it's mostly just my daughter and I that use these. And we usually get the color treated one, um, but I'm going to try this one this time, the moisture rich one. Um, I also, I think these are new. Oh yes, it does say new. And there was a coupon for these as well. And Anna and I bought it, I believe there was. Um, so these were like four, I think four ninety eight each. I had a coupon for buy one, get one free. And then I bought a, um, I believe it was had like a dollar, I think it was a dollar back on each one. Um, and you could get up to three of them. Oh, and I think I also had a dollar coupon if you purchased just one as well. So all in all, I think that dropped it down to like around a dollar or so. Like I said, it will be on the screen because I'm not doing the math in my head right now. So anyways, I did get two of um, the natural shea butter and pure coconut oil. Um, it is sulfate free, which is really great. Um, cleansing shampoo. They did not have any conditioner. Otherwise, I would have gotten one shampoo and one conditioner to give it a try. I love that it has a pump. I love that it makes it so convenient when you're in the shower. And I also got this. They only had this for like, um, you know, for styling products. This was the 
um, natural shea butter and pure coconut oil for curl. It's curl defining cream. So I thought I would give that a try, you know, on days where I'm curling my hair. My hair is somewhat pretty straight, but I'm going to give that a try, see how it is. This was also another, I bought a deal. I believe it was $2 back. The Batiste, Batiste, is that how you say it? It is the dry shampoo. They have all different kinds of scents. This one sounded nice. It is, um, let's see, sweet and sweet and delicious. It is the sweetie scent. So we'll see how that is. Um, I've been actually into dry shampoos lately. I'm not usually the one who uses them, but, um, and I have not tried this brand. Usually I get like little samples and things, but I'm going to try it and see how it works out. I also got a suave, um, just one of the cocoa butter and shea, um, body wash. There was a, I think I got, had a dollar coupon off of that. So I think it was only dropped it down to like 88 cents. Now we are on to the Christmas items. Now, not too much as of right now. Um, because I was looking for a certain color, like bulbs, um, not bulbs, but, um, ornaments for my main Christmas tree. And like I said earlier, go check out my video from last year where I showed all my trees. I have many. So I needed some new lights for the tree that you just saw in the kitchen, which is not usually in the kitchen. That's something new. Um, but I got, I'm going to do all white. So I needed the white lights with the green wire. So I got two of those. It is, a, it is not a big tree. So I think two, um, 200 lights might be enough. Um, I don't usually, I mostly put a lot of lights on my main white tree. So but I think for this green tree, I'll only need like 200. Now for my main tree, which like I said, is an all white Christmas tree with white lights. Um, and then I think this year, last year we did like a Buffalo check theme, uh, theme which was so beautiful. I loved it. Um, but this year I'm going to do, I think I want to do like an icy silver blue kind of theme color. I do a different theme every year. Um, but some of my lights, um, went completely dead. So I needed some new ones. So I got these, um, I got two packages of the 100 clear mini. Um, this is the holiday time, like the Walmart brand. Um, and, uh, they were, they were a good price too. I think they were under $3 for each, um, each box. So I got two of those because like I said, I'm, I, most of my trees covered in lights, but two of the strands went out. So I just needed to replace them. It seems to happen every year. Um, and then I have a little mini white tree. So I got these, just the 50 mini lights to put on that as well. And I got the bright white. They have either the warm white or the, like the really bright white white, which I like the really bright ones. Um, I'm not sure with these, these look like they're, I hope these are not warm. It doesn't really say on there. I hope they're like really white to match the other lights that I have on there. Otherwise I'll have to bring them back. Um, so that's what it, you know, that was pretty much it for Christmas lights. I think otherwise we are pretty set for our other trees. And then also, um, for my outdoor lights, I think I still have quite a bit left over from last year. And I think I even might've bought some for on clearance at the end of the year. Anyways, then that is a great time to buy your stuff is, um, at the end of the, you know, at the end of the Christmas year, you know, see what you need for the next year and buy it on clearance. All right, next items were these little like um, battery operated, op battery operated tea lights. My goodness. I usually get these at Dollar Tree, like two for a dollar, but these were two eighty eight for six. So I thought that was a great deal. Um, I have a lot of just little um, like candle holders and just like little, my little Christmas houses that I just like to put a little tea light in there. So I just got two of them for now. When I go back, I might even grab some more because you know they, they don't last super long we'll see how the and I, I will see how the walmart ones compare to the dollar tree ones see if maybe they're brighter they last longer we'll see because it was a great price i also went quickly through the clothing department and i just grabbed these like two tanks for myself i don't know if the color is picking up but this is a navy blue and this is like a burgundy which i know kind of looks brownish on camera i don't know how it's going to look for you guys when it comes out um, on screen, but it is a, like a burgundy color and the navy blue. These I think were only like 288. I like these just for like layering under like flannel shirts and stuff like that for this season. Um, oh, and then I forgot the Christmas ornaments that I picked up. I got these here. Um, I have a little mini pink tree in my, um, I think it's like maybe three or four feet tall. Maybe it's like three feet tall. No, four feet tall. I think about Anyways, moving on. It is a pink tree, and I think this year I'm going to do like a pink and gold theme. If as hopefully if this pink matches, well, we shall see. Because you know, I have to make sure the pink matches. Otherwise, it might look a little odd. But I just love these ornaments. Um, they you get so many in here. I don't know if it says 25 shatterproof ornaments. They had so many different varieties of colors. These were only $4.98. Can't beat it. Um, and then for my little mini white tree that I was talking about, I'm going to do like black and white. So I got these. They had lots of like little 
um, like mini ornaments for mini trees. So I got two of those. Um, and then one last thing, I see you can see on the wall how much I love Buffalo Check, was I got face masks. I know, this world we live in that I get excited when I'm finding different face masks, masks in the store. And I took them out of the packaging, which was stupid of me to show, I should have taken them out to show you. And I don't know if the color's picking up, but this is a beautiful bright like fuchsia color. So I got that and it came with a black one. It was a two pack. They were only $3.96 for the two. And this kind of opens up. I tr did try it on it. You know, it does cover your face really, really well, but not too thick because I find some of the fabrics and some of them are very thick and it's hard to breathe. And I have to, at my job, I have to wear a mask for pretty much the whole day. We do take like mask breaks from time to time, go outside. Um, but most of the day I'm wearing a mask, so it needs to be very comfortable, very lightweight. I also loved this one. This one, it was the black and white stripe and it came with the black one as well. Um, and I just love, if you know, as you guys know, if you're one of my regulars, because you can see how much I love the black and white, the Buffalo check. I love everything black and white and pink. These are like totally my colors right here. So I got that set as well. Um, so that is pretty much it for, for everything, guys. Um, I know this video is probably way, way long, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe before you leave that red button down below. It is free to join, free to watch my videos, and everybody else is on YouTube. So just hit that red button down below. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, all the things. Um, I'm going to leave my total right here on the screen for you guys. And also, guys, I got back. Are you ready for this um, with my Ibotta app? Because if you are new to Ibotta, it is such an amazing thing. It is absolutely free to use. Um, it's just an app you put on your phone. I have the link down below with a code where you guys, when you do your first rebate, you will get a bonus of $10. So basically what it is, it has um, different items that you can purchase and you purchase those items and they basically give you money back. So you, sometimes you get 50 cents, a dollar, like I was showing you guys, a lot of items were free this today. And there were even more free items as well, but not things that I thought we would really, any of us would really use. Sometimes I will purchase them and I will give them to a friend or donate them and stuff like that. But I just, um, you know, I, they were things we didn't need. And then some things I just couldn't find. So, you know, kind of depends on your stores as well, but I highly recommend it. So are you ready guys? I got back. $60 back on my purchases today from just from my Ibotta, using my Ibotta app. Now, over the years, I have gotten back thousands of dollars. So like I said, I recommend it to you guys. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just wanna share with you guys how awesome this app is and how you can earn money back. It is just amazing. Some people I hear, like they will save the money all year long and save it for Christmas shopping and things like that. So basically what you can do is when you earn the money, you can put it into your PayPal account and roll it over into your next grocery bill, or you can use it to get gift cards and um, you know all kinds of different things. You can also earn money back um, by shopping online through Ibotta as well. So, and sometimes even going to restaurants. So it's not just doing grocery shopping. So like I said, if you have not joined yet, Use that link and that code down below because it will benefit you. Now, also, if you're not wanting to go into Walmart lately, you know, I know it's a little, you know, it's getting a little crazy with the holiday season and you want to just, you know, order your uh, groceries online and just go and pick them up. I do have a $10 code down below for you guys as well off of your first your very first uh, Walmart pickup. So, and I have always have a whole bunch of other links for you guys down below to save you money because that's what I'm here for. I wanna share with you guys how you can save money on not just groceries, but so many different things. So just check those out down below. I have all those codes free down. Um, you know, nothing's, um, if it's an affiliate link, I usually will mention it, you know, down below. You know, mostly they are just like friend referral things. So, and I want to share them with you guys so you guys can save money. So anyways, I hope you guys made this through, the, made it through the whole video. Um, leave me your comments down below. Don't forget, leave me, if you made it through the whole video, make sure you leave me that little Christmas tree emoji. I appreciate it. And um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are staying safe and health, healthy with everything going on, this crazy world, and you know, but it is what it is. Um, so like I said, I hope you guys are stay, staying health, healthy, safe and healthy. I know not to be repetitive. Um, and until next time, I will see you soon, guys. Bye.